Okay, I finally found some kangaroos. I presume they're reasonably tame. They bounded away when I came close before. But now they seem to be okay. These are little western greys. And they're so gorgeous. I've got some food for you, sweetheart. Hello. Hello, you want some food? I've got food for you. Hey. Here. Hello, little darling. It's coming up. I've got some food for you. Here you go. Oh, aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Oh, come on. Some food for you. Your little soft lips are so gorgeous. And a little Joey. Oh, you are so cute. And you too. Hello, well this is a big red kangaroo. It's only a little one, I think it's a boy. And he's quite friendly. He's been eating the food. And he is so gorgeous, he'll let me pat him. And he's got lovely fur, very soft. Look at his paws are black. Such a sweet animal, hey? Such a sweet animal. I didn't like that, it made him a bit uncomfortable. Yes, it's a boy, all right. <laughs> I can't get over how lucky I am to be sitting here and talking with a kangaroo. Hello, sweetheart. Do you want to put a bit of this? Yeah? Eating grass. So, beautiful creatures, our kangaroos. I love the Australian big red kangaroo, real sweetheart. I lost Paul, he was somewhere over there. Oh, there's kangaroos loose in this paddock everywhere. There's a couple laying over there. There's a red one and a brown one over there. Oh, it looks like they're coming down the path. Hey sweeties. Don't know if you can see them so far. There's Paul over there and there's a third kangaroo. I'm wondering if this is the mother. If it is, hopefully I can get them to come and have some food from me. How gorgeous. So, they don't seem to be going away. If you just don't make any, they're pretty tame in here because they're used to people feeding them. If you don't make any, um, oh. What's wrong? And you're standing up and having a look. Hey, I've got some food for you. You want some food? Sweetheart, you want some food? Come on. Come on, look at that. I've got food. One of you? What about you? Come on. Do you want to make me come over to you? No. They are so gorgeous. I'd love to have one in my backyard. Now this is a species called the Queer Australian. <laughs> it, you have to be very quiet when you approach it because she does get a bit titchy. Get oh look, there's another kangaroo over there. Hey sweeties, would you like some food? I've got some food in my hand. Want some food? Yeah, look, I've got food for you. Sweetie. You go, little fella. Yeah, look, I've got food. Yeah, that food's for you. Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, come on, beautiful thing. Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, that's right. It's your sweetheart, eh? Little darling. Hello, sweetie. How beautiful. You just keep feeding it for as long as you can because I'm f filming video. Oh my god, there's a whole mob of them over there. You call it an amemu as well. <laughs> you call them a, a mob of kangaroos. Oh, how cute are they? He's beautiful. Look at him. Hang on, I'll give you another bit in a minute. Well, you are a gorgeous little girl, aren't you? This is a wallaby. 
I think she's a grey wallaby. I don't know what it's what it, what brand she is. I haven't looked at the thing. Come on, come over here, sweetheart. I've got some food for you. Such a beautiful little creature. The big ones get quite territorial. Little ones like that. I mean, really, even the big ones that are territorial, um, you know, nothing to be frightened of. But they can turn, you know. I can see Paul over there with an emu and a mob of wallabies and some Cape Barren geese <laughs> and a magpie all within viewing distance. And the kangaroo is coming towards me because he probably figures that I've got some food. Yes, I have. You're coming straight to me, aren't you, darling? Here you go, it's a little wallaby. Thank you, sweetheart. You're on Steve TV, hey? Look how beautiful you are. You knew I had some food and you come straight over to me. Aren't you gorgeous little darling, hey? Let me give you a pat. Hey? Oh, hang on, I'll come... Oh, I'll come down to your level. I'm actually down kneeling with the wallabies. <laughs> so... Paul, do you want to come film me? Oh, you've got an emu about to stalk you. Little babies, aren't you gorgeous? These are actually adults. These are little wallabies and they're so beautiful. The fur on their lips is so soft and gorgeous. You should do it with a bare hand. Yeah, I don't care if I've got a bit of camera lipstick on me. Oh, this is the third one. You want some too, sweetheart? Alright, here we go. Noise that the emu was making. No, they make the growling. Oh, look, look, where have you? Hang on, look, you're all getting a bit excited. You've got very sharp claws. Oh, my Stephen's about to be pillaged by kangaroos. Ah, rip them. You wouldn't want them to. Oh, he's going to take your bum. Oh. <laughs> you can see the map, I think. Oh. Hello. There he is. Oh, oh, come on, emu. He was like you. so close to me that it was freaking me out. Stephen believes that he can talk to animals. Stephen, 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 Steve Doolittle. Here, crikey, they got sharp claws. <laughs> Bloody buggery. Bloody buggery kangaroo. <laughs> you ripping me to shreds, you bastards. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you are so cute. You can come home with us if you want. I'll buy some food and we'll take you home. The sound they make when they're eating is a bit like when you feed a horse. Oh. I saw something else over here too. Oh, Cape Barren geese. Oh look, that one's got a joey in its pouch. Well look how... Look. It's got a big lumpy belly. Look. This little king, this little wallaby, or whatever it is, I don't know. I'll be coming close to you very slowly. We don't want to scare you, but I've got some food for you. you want a bit of food? Can you show us your baby? Yeah. Show me your joey. Joey in there. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> So 
photos at some point too. See in the in the oh, look, belly there. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a bigger mum one going in for a yeah. for that mama. <laughs> You're so cute looking straight at the camera with your cheeks all. I want to see in your pouch. You got a baby kangaroo in there. How gorgeous are these animals? They're so timid and sweet. They're so gentle. Well, no, they're not timid. Well, they are a bit. You've got to be careful how you come up to them because if you make a big noise, they bugger off. And look at this mother here feeding her grown up Joey who can no longer fit in the pouch. And he's having a. Joey's having a drink while the mother just stands there quietly, allowing the baby to drink. How beautiful. Behind, there's some Cape Garen, Barren geese with yellow stripes on their nose. See if, see if, I'll, if I can zoom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I feel so blessed right now. I'd like to thank the gods. Thank you for this. Thank you for these trees. God, that goose sounds terrible. Where are you going? Hey? I'm right in the middle of a mob of kangaroos. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted from Hillsville. This is what I wanted from the Adelaide Zoo and the Melbourne Zoo. It's right here on the top of the hill overlooking Adelaide. <laughs> you haven't got the belly for it, Paul. What he's doing is Dawn French. You want some? I've got some here. You've got a yellow tag in your ear. Hang on a minute, I'll give you some food. Alright, All right, there you go. Hey? Hungry, eh? You're a beautiful, beautiful girl or boy. I'm not sure what you are, but you are. You're very beautiful. Lovely little creature. You fluffy cheeks. Oh, you've got such a broad chest. Strong arms. What was that, Mr. Goose? One, 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 one. Come on, come over here. One. You silly goose, come on. One, one, one. This is a Cape Baron goose. A Cape Baron goose, I mean. This is a Cape Baron goose and. Kangaroo in the same breath. How gorgeous.